Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to part two of my DIY wide body kit. Now in this episode, two major things are gonna happen. One, um, I've already got tires mounted on wheels and balanced and everything, so I just need to get those on the car. So we're gonna do that first. Second thing is that's gonna allow me to see how much foam um, is on the car, is actually on the car, um, as far as how wide it needs to go. Now, if I don't have enough foam, what I'll end up doing is I'll be adding foam and then over the weekend, I can start shaping. Um, so the big goal is just to test fitment and then from there, start shaping the wide body kit. That's all gonna be in this episode, so stick around. All right. So yeah, wheels are super wide, and there's not enough foam on the car. So you have to come all the way around here. I mean, there's there's a good bit of foam in here, but just not nearly enough. So that's really the next project that I have to do is just figure out exactly how much foam needs to get on here. So there's there's the first wheel. Let me get the other side, and then I'll do the back. All right, so as you can see, got the wheels mounted onto the car. I think they look awesome and uh, they're nice and wide. So it looks really, really cool. So I'm really excited to get to, uh, to shaping. Now, before I can go to the shaping, I've got to actually add on more foam to the plugs um, that I'm, I'm building here. So they don't uh, push out as far as they need to. And some of it, um, they're not as thick as they need to be. So I, don't, I can't get that smooth surface. I actually took a, uh, a little nugget that I had um, from when I dropped the cans and set them on the ground and let them just kind of like, um, you know, release any, any last little foam they had in the cans. So if you can see right here, um, this used to be round, but what I ended up doing was sanding the two edges down, made a little 90, and I think it came out really well. As you can see, the surface is nice and smooth. It's a little bit rough, but obviously that's gonna get um, body filler on it. But that's kind of what it's gonna look like when the uh, thing is all sanded down, when the plugs are all sanded down, and they're all smooth, so that's my goal. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting more foam on the car, um, and then from there, uh, we'll come back and it'll be um, at the point where I need to start shaping everything. All right guys, so the last thing you saw was me test fitting the wheels and everything. So the next piece that I have to do is I actually need to start sanding the, uh, the foam that I have on here. This is all pretty hard on here, so uh, that's just gonna be my template. And I'm gonna start uh, start with some pretty aggressive, aggressive grit. Um, let me show you what I got. All right, so starting off, first thing I have is 50 grit sandpaper. Uh, that's gonna be really aggressive, and I think it's gonna take care of a lot of the bulk on the foam. Uh, next thing I've got is 80 grit. Uh, it's a little bit less aggress aggressive, but it's still aggressive enough that I think it's gonna take down uh, some of the bigger um, uh, areas that I need to shave down and smooth down. And then once I get from there, I've got some 220 grit right here. I don't know how useful this stuff is going to be uh, because, again, I am just getting the proper shape um, so that I can put body filler on it and smooth everything out. So, um, again, like I said, not sure how helpful this is going to be, but definitely the 50 and the 80 are going to be my primary go-tos as far as um, shaping the foam that's on the car. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. Um, I kinda wanna start on the front fenders, but then I also wanna start on the rear fenders. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna start. Um, I will say though, I do wanna uh, start off by taking all the cardboard um, that was my template, and I wanna start taking that apart because I wanna make sure that's off the car um, so I can start seeing uh, where the original fender is and know how wide um, the extra fender is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started peeling off all the cardboard. Um, this is gonna be my next piece. And then from there, I'll, uh, you guys will see me start to sand the, uh, the foam. So stay tuned. All right, so all cardboard is removed. I ended up using a screwdriver to kind of pry at, using a screwdriver to kind of pry at the cardboard. Um, that was um, stuck to the foam, and then the rest of it came off because it was pretty easy. It was just in the wheel well. So um, next thing is I'm going to take my 50 grit sandpaper, and I'm going to start rubbing down uh, some of the fenders and see what I can get to, see what kind of shape I can get to. Um, I'm thinking of getting the outside edge, those lines, um, sanded down pretty good, 
just so I can get a really good idea of where I want the fenders to, uh, to end. And then I can start getting my shape, my slope um, from there. I think it'll be much easier to get a really clean looking fender if I start with where uh, with my end point. So like I said, I'm gonna grab the sandpaper and I'm gonna get to work. All right guys, so as far as everything uh, where I'm at right now on the car, um, I spent um, all last night sanding uh, for several hours. Um, I, the camera ended up dying and I just kinda, kinda said, forget it, and just kept sanding. So basically, spent about seven hours total um, on all the sanding and got it to kinda the shape it's in right now. Um, but then what I started doing is I went and got um, uh, today, I got some extra sandpaper and, and different tools, but what ended up, uh, what I found to be the best thing possible is this, is this guy right here. Uh, it's Air Tool, uh, little sander. It's amazing and it's taking down so much so fast that this is literally cutting my time uh, by 10. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So um, it's making it so much faster, number one, and it's also really, really easy to get the shape that I want. It's way easier than it was with the, uh, the block sand or the drywall um, sandpaper. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of going back and I'm shaping, um, really fine tuning the shape uh, now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and finish this side. And I went out and I also bought wheel dollies today, put the car up on wheel dollies. And so now uh, when I need to um, do the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car in the garage so that way I can still work on this side, have plenty of room, um, I, can, I can take a step back, I can see the shape of everything, which is super important, I think, to getting the right, the right look. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll let you guys see kind of how powerful and how amazing this thing is for uh, sanding off all of this foam. The foam, by the way, has held up extremely well. Like, I'm really impressed with, uh, with just how it holds its shape um, and while there are air pockets in there, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I kind of have two thoughts about that. One, I could stuff um, the foam that uh, I'm cutting off or shaving off. I can stuff the foam back in there and then put um, uh, body filler on top of that. Or the other thing I could do is I could take like wall plaster um, and just stick it in there to help fill in those gaps so I'm not wasting all my body filler um, on, the, on the fender and all those gaps and stuff. So that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna keep uh, keep using this and let you guys kind of watch. Uh, obviously, time lapse it, so you're welcome. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun um, getting the shape that I wanted. Um, I'm kind of rambling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and let you guys kind of see what goes on. Protective gear is a must for this. You'll see exactly what I mean, what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so quick update as far as what's going on with the car. So I've been doing a ton of shaping um, with the air tool and uh, basically I'm to the point now where I'm almost com I'm almost done with this side um, for the time being. Obviously there's going to be some minor tweaking once I get both sides to this point so that way I can make sure that everything is as, as uh, close as possible. One of the things I'm going to do is uh, make sure that the fender line, um, the outer edge of the fender line is where I want it to be. Make sure that the corners are kind of like sloped down. Um, and the front is a little too high still. So I wanna, I wanna basically bring that down um, and start working that in, um, in a downward sloping motion instead of so bubbled right now. It's, it's really bubbled. So I wanna get rid of that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. I, I was, like I said, I got some uh, wheel dollies. So I was able to move the car, turn the car. So uh, in a minute here, when I go to the other side, I'll be able to flip the car around um, and be able to work on that with all the light and everything. So that'd be really nice.
Well, that's the end of the second video. Um, I ended up getting uh, a lot of shaping done on the passenger side of the car. I added a little bit more foam on the inside um, edge of the fender, um, fender flare, because I wanted to make sure that I have enough to kind of curve in around the wheel, like some of the kits I'm seeing and some of the kits that um, I'm kind of modeling this after. So in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is shaping the uh, driver's side. So I'm going to turn the car around. I'm going to shape the inside of the fenders. Um, so that way it kind of molds around the, the wheel, like I was saying. And then from there, <coughs> excuse me, I'm also going to be molding the uh, rear pieces uh, for the rear bumper and then I'm going to be molding the uh, or sanding down the front splitter area that's going to kind of my big project for this entire week um, once everything is is shaped and done that's when I'll start adding the body filler in and uh, you know once I've measured everything and make sure everything is perfect I'm going to add the body filler in and then sand that down get it all smooth um, that's kind of my plan for the next video is to uh, to get to that stage um, and uh, and fill it in. So if you guys uh, want to see more of what's going on, you guys can always subscribe to the channel so that way you guys see the uh, the next videos that come out. If you want to stay a little bit more up to date, something I update uh, a lot more often than YouTube is going to be my Instagram. Um, I'll link that uh, down below. So that's going to be a wrap for this episode. Um, I know it's kind of uh, spacey and all drawn out, lots of time lapse, um, but it's just a lot of a lot of grunt work, a lot of elbow grease, and a lot of getting things done. Um, and I think I've done that so far. I think I've done a, a pretty good job of staying on task. So, um, like I said, this next week, I'm going to try and knock out um, the third video. And then from there, once that's knocked out and the body fillers on the car, on the fender flares, um, then I can start really shaping. And then it's into molding and uh, actually building the, the uh, mold for the flares that are going to end up being on the car. Uh, like I said, you guys can totally subscribe so you guys keep up to date with the videos. And then the other thing is don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you're interested or you're excited about the build as much as I am. Um, and then the other thing you can do is you can always comment. Um, you can leave, you know, supportive comments. Uh, you know, you can leave comments saying how I'm doing it the wrong way or uh, suggestions on how I could be doing this better or um, something I could be doing for um, coming up, you know, the steps as far as making the molds or anything like that. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them down below. Um, but other than that, like I said, that's going to wrap this video up. Have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next video.